tadpole update. The first one has already made his way off into the wild, and it looks as though the second one is also ready to do so. Good luck, young Kermes. Jamie? Amy, for Madam Secretary Pat Prime. I swear I'm not playing favorites. I seem to say his name a lot. He just always seems to be thinking what I'm thinking, which brings to mind, is this like Finkel and Einhorn? And that makes me think, which one of those Kermes is Dan Marino? But before we begin, I would like to thank, with a voracious amount of enthusiasm, Mr. Enrique Banda and Mr. Carl Wallace for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Folks, thank you so very, 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 very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. You don't have to have to, but you should probably put your guitar one half step down to play this song. We're going to hear some errant open E and A strings. And you want them to be the right note when they happen, if they happen. So instead of Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, you'll have... Eddie flat, eight flat, dynamite flat, good flat, by flat, Eddie flat. If you don't know how to put your guitar one half step down, I've got a video on that and you will find it also in the description. This song is a smorgasbord of bar chords. Having said that, if I say for instance E minor, and you don't wanna play this E minor, you'd prefer to play regular old E minor, that's okay. You'll be playing the correct chord in a different register. So here we go, E minor. Which one did you choose? A string, 7th fret, 9, 9, 8. And we're going to put our thumb on the bass note for each chord. In this instance, it's the A string. And I'm going to put my middle finger on the B string and my pointer finger on the G string and do a bouncy thing like this. Bass, chord, bass, bass, chord. Here comes the errant open E string. Before we slide into B minor, that's starting on the E string, 7th fret, 9-9. Nine, nine. Of course, now your thumb moves to the bass note of this chord, the E string. I'm going to keep my middle and pointer fingers on the strings they were on. You could put them somewhere else if that fancies you, but we're going to go open bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass. So, bass chord, bass, bass chord, open bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass. define a few more terms before we move on to the verse. Our G for this song is going to be A string 10th fret, D, G, B, 12. Again, if you want to play G, play G. But on the track, it's that. C is going to be starting on the E string, 8, 10, 10, 9. That's our C. Play that C if you want. I'm playing this C. And D is this shape, two frets higher. Play whichever D you want. Like most songs, the verse is four things. The first thing is G, notice the bounciness. E minor. C. G. Mental breath. The second thing is G. B minor. C. The third thing is the same as the first thing, G, E minor, C, G, and the fourth thing is novel, G, B minor, quick C, D, land on G. The chorus, E minor. false resolution G has a relative minor chord. It happens to be E minor. That means anything you can sing over G, la 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 la, you can sing over E minor, but it will feel different. La 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 la. Same exact notes out of my larynx, different feel because it was over a different thing that was awfully the same. So at the end of this chorus, do you want to be a friend? 
friend of mine. That's like the most satisfying ending ever, right? But the second time they go, do you want to be a friend of mine? And it sounds like it's going somewhere, which it is. It's unresolved. It's the false resolution. But after the second chorus in that same spot, it does not hit the E minor. It hits an F, which is a total throne for the loop moment. F is going to be the same as G, but two frets lower. 8, 10, 10, 10, starting on the A string. So, do you want to be a friend at F? To C, then C minor, just lose your middle finger, back to F. C minor now and up to D. And that's all there is to say. After the last chorus, it does two. Do you wanna be a friend of mine? Resolutions wanna be a friend of mine. And the third one goes back into the intro a bunch of times. And then after you're satisfied, you get a G. Day's tribute to Amy Winehouse. Thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.